Hello everybody, Grace Still Plays, and we're back again with more Northgard. No time for BS. So this game was finally released over on Steam. Seems like it's doing pretty well for itself. It is a very fun game, and it looks like the developer has some really good roadmaps prepared for it. I'm really interested in the campaign mode. I'm hoping that that comes out soon, as well as more clans. We have three clans right now. If you guys haven't seen it, I did a little playthrough. Uh, now it must be a couple weeks ago. To get a first taste of the game, we're going to go back into it here, do a little bit more now that I know some additional stuff about the game. They've ironed a few things out, and it plays very, very smoothly, I will say. We, of course, need to make a glorious Viking name, like, uh, I keep wanting to say Grau. Grey Lord the Auspicious. I think I spelled, did I spell Auspicious right? I don't know. Our clan color today will be yellow. Because that seems awesome. We're going to play on normal. AI players, you can select how many you want. If you just want, like, an experience against the computer, you can do zero. And if you want to have, like, just other people all over the place, you can do three. I think what we'll do here is I did three last time. So let's do a little bit more, like, against the computer and see if we can get some higher level stuff done. So let's do just one other AI player. So it's going to be us versus them. Who's going to come out on top? And this time... We're going to go for a different clan. Now, last time we played over here as the Hadron. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. That's the clan of the goat. Stuff that they're good at is mostly like food and production. You can see here with fame, which is like a resource that grows over time, you get additional bonus stuff. So they get feasting and they also get free tools, which is pretty cool. Um, there's also... Now, this is a tough one. I... Okay, guys. Ike Thyronir? Ike Thyronir? I don't know. It's the clan of the stag, though. Look at that cool glowing-eyed stag, man. Standing there in front of the sunrise, I think? I don't know. Sunrise or sunset. You start with a bunch of food, wood, and crowns, and then the Hall of Skulls replaces the brewery, brewery and produces additional fame. Now, producing fame is cool because it gets you these additional bonuses. They have high spirits where they can get bonus happiness, and they can get upgraded buildings that produce an additional 10% production. That's very good. Um, that's actually very good. Now, this is one of the ones I really wanted to try. This is the Fenrir. So, the Clan of the Wolf. And these guys are all about attack, man. They start with the Weaponsmith Knowledge, which increases the warrior's attack. And then each military unit uses 30% less food and provides happiness. That is really cool. So, usually having warriors on your side is kind of like a little bit of a burden. Because they cost all this food and stuff like that. But these guys eat a little bit less and they make everyone happier, which allows you to gain more people quicker. And then you have Assault here, which increases uh, your attack by 20% when fighting outside your own territory, which is mostly where you're gonna where you're gonna fight when you're going to overtake other places. And then Berserkers. That's pretty cool. You obtain a powerful Berserker who will fight for you at 500 fame. Now, that's a little bit of ways away, so it's gonna take some time. Let's go ahead and start this game, though. Right off, right off the bat, this game is a real-time strategy game. And you basically want to get moving right away because the pause button in this game isn't like normal pause buttons. You can't do anything uh, when you're paused. I'm actually going to put this house right next to here. We are going to put a scout camp right next to, let's see here. I want to get it pretty close to the house over there. Right next to, we, we spawn in a really weird place too. There isn't very much here at all. Do we have any forest? We have like a tiny little forested area and that's it. And then, of course, we're going to want a woodcutter's lodge. So, we're going to grab all these things. I'm going to put this woodcutter's lodge kind of next to the, the couple of trees that we have over here. Now, luckily, we've got some decent forests over here. It looks like we've got the sea over here to our, uh, our right. Now, in this game, everything is randomly generated. So, you never really know where you're going to start at. There we go. We've got a house constructed. Things are happening, which is good. Let's go and start grabbing a scout right off the bat. The way that you get people to do things is very easy. You just click on any one of your, like, ran random villagers here. You can click on this, too, and that will select a villager. And then you right-click on a building, and that makes them become whatever it is you selected. So over here, we'll grab a villager and then make them become a woodcutter so we can start getting wood-cutting stuffs. It says here, your scouts will discover new areas. Please wait. And that right over here is them, like, using cartography or whatever you want to call it. They're just kind of wandering around trying to teach us what's what over here. Some of the other things that you can do, I'll kind of talk about while this guy's doing his thing and we're gaining a little bit of wood, is you can improve tools, which is very good, but it takes iron, which is kind of difficult to get. 
And then you can organize a feast. The feasts are very, very good. They take a lot of food in order to organize. But it gives you a 20% bonus to everything. Oh, wow, look at this. We found something pretty cool right off the bat here. We got treasure is waiting here. Okay, hold on. We got to colonize this right away, boys. Hold on. Let's go ahead and colonize this, and then we're going to get our scout over there. We want some treasure. I've never I've never experienced the runes before. I have no idea what could be over here. Let's go right-click over here. Like I said, it's a very easy game to get the hang of. Pretty much right-click on stuff, and you can be assured that you'll be doing things correctly. So, now that we have this done, one of the next things we're probably going to want is a training camp. We're going to need some more wood, though. Let's grab another one of our villagers and turn them into a woodcutter. This way we have two woodcutters going at the same time. Now, when we run out of trees, you can break down your buildings by hitting this little flamey icon, and that'll go ahead and knock things down and give you a little bit of stuff back. So what are we going to get, baby? Other than that, over here, really not much else. In fact, the only thing of note in this area is the runes. So we'll probably just put some houses here, and that's about it. So we want to keep exploring. We want to find things like deer. That would be good. Sheep, that would be good. Uh, metal nodes, stone nodes, anything like that would be fantastic. That'll allow us to continue to get uh, the resources so that we can upgrade our stuff. If we click on any building, you can see you can upgrade the building, but you need various items. So we need 10 stone to upgrade this. And even for the woodcutter's lodge, we need stone for that as well. And it'll tell you what happens if you upgrade it. It gets 20% more wood production bonus. That's pretty sweet. Upgrade your scout camp. You can upgrade your house. You can shelter three additional members. Again, all this requires stone. So stone is basically like the most important resource in the early game. So right now, you can see we have four or five buildings. So we can only build so much. Let's see. We could build a defense tower. That might be pretty good. We can also build this training camp. I kind of want to get that as well. Having crowns is good. Um, we probably will go ahead and make a training camp. After all, we, we are a warfaring clan. So let's go ahead and... Oh, hold on. You know what? Are we allowed to put, like, a fishing area around? No, it requires fish, which I guess we don't have. So the, the ocean over here just plain old sucks. It's got nothing for us. So let's go ahead and put down a nice war camp over here. If someone doesn't start building it, this guy is. But if someone doesn't start building it, you can right-click on a villager and then make them discover it. So... We ended up getting a bunch of crowns from that. Holy crap, we got a ton of crowns from that. So we have 172 crowns. That's kind of nice. All right, what do we got over here? Okay, this is good. See, right over here, we've got stones. We've got deer. This is perfect. We want to colonize this immediately. This is going to be super important. It takes food to colonize, so we're way down on food. We're going to have to watch out because as we get close to winter, the food goes way, way, way down. So, uh, let's get moving as quick as possible. Things that we're going to want to put over here. How many houses can we put over here? We can put three. Or I shouldn't say houses. I should say buildings. We can put three. So, let's go put down a mine real quick. Like I said, if we want, we can grab a villager and force him to come up here to do this. And a lot of times, if you're building outside of your original territory, you're going to have to do that. We're going to do that. And then... Oh, right there. You can see right there. The food just went way down. We're going to want a hunter's lodge, like, immediately. Let's put it right near these deer here. I'm going to grab one villager, and we're going to go ahead and get this done. The food is going to be very, very tough here. Oh, wow. We're already under attack by some wolves. You see right over here? Our villagers are going to start punching this wolf out. Now, you can kind of micromanage your guys a little bit here. Like, if this guy started to take too much damage, I could actually move him away, make him run away, for instance, and just keep him alive. Uh, food is still doing okay. We're at one right now for the food. We were at zero for a second ago, but we probably got a new person from our town hall, which is pretty darn good. We've got five villagers right now, so that's not too bad, man. Uh, we also have this training camp prepared. And we can also, once we get some iron, recruit a war, tree, a war chief. And holy crap, the war chiefs are amazing. So that's something that we're going to want to consider as well. This guy should be done pretty soon. We can take a look at how close he is. Oh, look at this. We've got more ruins over here. And it looks like there's a bunch of wolves over here as well. Let's go ahead and grab our scout. And can we look at this? Or is this only if we... Um, only if we have the courage to venture there. Oh, we may not be able to do it because there may be wolves over here. That might be why. Anyhow, let's go ahead and grab a villager. We're going to put him over there, and we're going to put two over here right now. 
And then what I found is that if you can find an area that produces food, make yourself a food silo. Uh, the only issue is to make a food silo, we're going to have to upgrade our town hall. So that's one of the very first things that we're going to want to do. Let's grab another villager and make him a miner. So, again, the food situation kind of going down a little bit, but we should be okay. We've got 50 food right now. We've got six food production. We're getting a couple of flurries, and we're starting to come into winter. You're going to see, once we're into winter, things are going to get pretty hectic, man. But luckily, thanks to this hunting lodge, we are getting a real good amount of food. So let's see if we can get a little bit more, a little bit more stone over here. What are you guys doing? You guys just kind of doing your thing? Yep. Another piece of stone coming in there. Excellent. These guys are over here. See them taking down those deer right there. Sweet. And let's just take a look if there's anything that we're missing right now. Uh, we have a rune stone, which is pretty cool. With the rune stones, we can get um, lore masters, which gets us additional lore. And right now, let's go ahead and grab a lore. I think I'm going to go down this path because this is like our path, which is pretty cool. What is this? Reduces the loss of food during the winter. Oh, that's kind of cool. Are we allowed to buy this or anything? I guess not yet. So we started with Weaponsmith. Let's go ahead and grab Pillage. Pillage is kind of cool. Anytime we kill someone, we get more crowns. So, I mean, that can't hurt, can it? Oh, right over here. We should be ready to upgrade, I think. What does it take here? We can't. We need. Okay, we're going to need a couple more stones before we get in there. All right, that's fine. Oh, we could also organize a feast. Do I want to do that? We're coming into winter. Yeah, what the hell? You know what? Let's do it. Let's organize a feast. Gray the Auspicious over here. We're a chieftain right now compared to these unknown guys that are only at a 55. We just got a 75 because we organized the feast. And you can see how our food is jumping up right now. And that's pretty cool. Actually, everything is jumping up from this. It's kind of nice, really. Um, so anyway... Let's see if there's any other places we can build more things. We haven't built anything over here, and there's really not that much over here. So let's just start building a house. And if we wanted to, we could probably build... Let's see here. We could probably build some things. Oh, we got a shipwreck over here. That's kind of... Oh, wow. Look at this over here, guys. Hold on. We have an iron deposit, and there is just a ton of these... Oh, I don't know if, I, if I'm going to pronounce this correctly... Dr Dragar? Dragar? I'm not really sure. It's uh, I think they're like the un the guys from the underworld in uh, Greek um, Norse mythology. I almost said Greek mythology. I don't know where that came from. Anyway, let's go upgrade this. We're gonna get this done. It'll be upgraded in a jiffy, and that'll allow us to build a food silo once we have a hundred wood. We should have a hundred wood pretty damn soon. So, other things for us to do right now, uh, the food's doing okay. What I'd like to do, though, is we can start getting ourselves some warriors. You can see each time we do this, our, uh, our food is gonna go down big time. But we need to start moving along here, and really, fighting this area is gonna be so important because it has an iron deposit. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Can I use my scout on here? No, I can't. We're gonna have to get rid of all these bad guys first. Okay. Let's go grab our warriors. And... Let's bring them up here. We don't have a healer yet either, so we're probably going to want that in a little bit. A healer hut can heal your men when they get injured. We can even use our hunters to help fight. Any of your guys can fight. It doesn't have to just be these guys. So let's go grab a hunter. We'll bring him in here. And this other hunter as well. We're going to bring him in here on this. So let's see what we got here. We'll, we'll start fighting a little bit. All right, let me move this guy up. And let's do it. Here we go. Let's see how well... Oh, shoot. I just lost my hunter. There he is. All right. Let's see what we can do. We got one Draugar in coming over here. Oh, they're not even going to fight. That sucks. I'm going to take this guy and probably micromanage him away real quick. Crap. I'm going to see if I can get... Oh, we lost a dude. That sucks so bad. All right. We got one Draugar down, though. So we just need to get the additional guys down. This guy's pretty beat up. We may want to consider making a healing hut. Um, let's see here. How are we doing on our wood right now? Do we have enough to do the food, the food silo yet? We really don't. Hopefully once our, uh, once winter is over as well, we're going to be doing pretty good on the food. We're coming into February. I think right about March is when things kind of dry up and go back to the way they should be. We do have these wolves over here. I'm really glad that they haven't bothered us yet. We've been very, very, uh, lucky about that. 
So between the healer's hut and the... F oh, here we go. We're under attack. Where's it coming from? Yep. We got wolves right over here. Oh, wow. We got a lot of wolves incoming. How's our woodcutters doing? Oh, no. We just lost a woodcutter right there. But these two guys are beating the living hell out of this wolf. Should be okay. There we go. Wolves are down. Get back to work, guys. Hopefully we can get some more villagers pretty fast as well. Uh, how are we doing on the food? Still at negative two. And... Okay, good. We're back, we're back looking kind of healthy now, which is good. I should have a single warrior over here. How many more Dragar over there? Oh, what is this? Oh, that's our scout. Okay. Let's go grab another villager and make a warrior. I may even make two warriors. Um, yeah, we're going to be down on food for a little bit, but whatever. We have to clear this area out so we can start getting iron. No risk, no reward, guys, right? Keep getting us deer. Keep getting us deer, boys. All right, man. Now with a, a group of three guys, we should be able to do this pretty darn well. All right. Grab you. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Go, boys. Get them. Take them out. Oh, rats have been reported. We're going to have to deal with that in a little bit, and we will. Yes. Good job. We got a couple of crowns from that kill. Excellent. And there we go. More crowns from that as well. Our warriors are successful. Excellent. Excellent. And now we can colonize this once we get 80 food. But first, let's go ahead and grab our scouts. And are we allowed to do anything like this? No, not yet. Okay, so we're going to have to make sure that all this is uh, back to where it needs to be. We need to colonize this before we can do anything else. I'm going to turn our scout into a regular villager just because um, we need more food. We need to get the food train going. I'm going to turn this guy into a regular villager as well. This one warrior over here because he's really, really beat up. So, we have 100 logs right now, which is fantastic. So, we can finally make our food silo. And I'm going to put this kind of right over here for right now. Do that right now. Go ahead and grab one of these guys. Get it made. That's going to give us 10%. I think it's 10% more food production. And it's not going to have these damn rats beating our food problem up. Oh, boy. Where's this attack coming at? Ah, hold on. Got more wolves over here. Let's see if I can get this guy away. There we go. Let me get this guy away. There we go. Okay, good. I managed to save our guys. So that was pretty lucky. That's what I'm talking about, about being able to do a little bit of the micromanagement. If you can get it done, you can save your poor dudes from getting their faces rolled. Oh, this is good over here. We got some sheep over here. That's pretty cool. Only issue is... Oh, and what do we have over here? Got more ruins. Couple more of the uh, Draugar or whatever they're, whatever you would call them. Oh, that's cool. The wolves turn red. Look at that glow they have as they stalk through the forest. That's pretty neat, actually. How we doing over here, guys, in the old hunter lodge? Still doing all right? We got uh, 10 from hunters. I think we can only put two hunters in here. Yeah, all the hunters we can have in there are there. This house never got finished. I think it's because I was using one of my villagers to uh, fight or something like that. Or maybe I made him into a warrior. I'm not really 100% sure. Let's go ahead and do this real quick. Over here, we still need that 80 food in order to get this going. So we're going to want that done as soon as possible. Our food silo is prepared, which is good. Now, you don't need to put anything inside of the food silo. You just It just needs to exist. Let's go over here to our lore and learn something new. Uh, sharp weapons increases units, military attack power of 15. Increases uh, hunter's food production by 30 or explore new areas 100% faster. Screw that. I want sharp weapons. Holy crap, that's good. So 30% more food production. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That's that's what we want, guys, right there. That's going to get us moving super fast. In fact, we're going to be able to colonize this area in just a minute. And I'm going to be very, very, very happy once we're able to. We're going to have no food once we colonize this, but whatever, man. I want access to that iron as soon as damn possible. We're at least going to have a couple warriors in there too. But the big thing is this iron. I want to get a war chief because a war chief is going to increase our military presence by a lot. Um, so let's go ahead and start colonizing. You can see this will give us 15 iron for doing this. So probably one of the first things I'm going to want to build is the ability to extract that iron. So let's see what do we need here. Sword of Odin. I've never really messed with iron that much. Let's take a look. Uh, miners... A stone or iron. Okay, so this is what we want. We're gonna need 50 logs for this. So where am I? Where are my boys at over here? These miners are all done. Okay, so this building is not doing anything anymore. 
So let's go ahead and break it down and let's go get them doing something else. Uh, I'll probably bring them over here when I put that mine up. So how much does that mine take? Oh, 50. Okay, so we're almost there. We're going to be there in like two shakes. There we go. Put this right next to here. Let's go ahead and grab our dudes that are doing absolutely nothing. And my good gentleman, could you please go up here? Oh, is someone is someone coming for this or what's going on? Oh, these guys are just miners. That's why. All right, I'm going to turn these guys into regular villagers. And then we'll grab a regular villager. And I will bring him up here. And get this freaking mine going, baby. We want this mine going right away. How many buildings can we have in here? Three, huh? Okay. And let's grab our scout. Do we even have a scout any longer? Or did we lose him? I think we lost our scout. Yeah, we must have. Because this is all we have now. So let's grab a villager and let's make another scout. Right over here. Make another scout so we can start looking at this uh, shipwreck. I think that we can do that. Grab our scout. And yes! Okay, good. Now that we've now that we've discovered this area, look at that. We can finally look at this shipwreck. We should get some things here. Uh, it's going to give us crowns and wood. So that's pretty cool. I could always use more wood. That's going to help us build. Oh, wow. Let's go ahead and organize a feast. We got 150 food right now. So that's going to get us a couple of things. But really what it's going to do is it's going to get us closer to our 200 fame bonus. Which I'm pretty damn happy for. The silo protected us from the rat in, uh, infestation, so that's awesome. Oh, our territory's under attack. What do we got over here? Up, oh, right over here. This wolf taking our guy out. Go ahead and grab him and kind of micromanage him away. And boom, shakalaka. There we go. Okay, everything's just fine. So now, let's go ahead and grab this dude and put you over here. And do we have anyone else that's not doing anything? Looks like everyone's doing something, so that's good. And grab you and put you over here. I want two miners on this, man. Got 30 stone still, so that's pretty good. Um, in fact, we could upgrade this for a 20% more meat production, which is pretty damn good, guys. Um, in fact, I may even want to do this. We could upgrade this as well at some point if we get 100 logs. You know what we're going to need? We're going to need to upgrade this because... We always need more wood, is what it looks like. Like, I constantly meet... I, well, I can make another logging situation over here. I can do that. In fact, I may do that. Because we have a forested area over here. Uh, let's see. If we colonize this area, this area is known for its forests. And we can get an additional 20% wood production if we, put, uh, if we put stuff over here. Ooh, that's pretty good. That's even better. That's even better to have a, uh, a, a logging, a logging sort, so to speak. We should get a bunch of logs from this shipwreck in just a second. They all 200 logs and 100, 100 crowns, boys. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, that's pretty good. So, let's grab our warband, who, they're not looking great right now. I'm not gonna lie. Our warband's a little beat up right now. Let's go ahead and put them over here. And let's go and put a healer's hut over here because there's not much else we can do in this area. We can still put another building. Uh, I'm going to go grab one of my villagers. We'll go ahead and do this over here. We want to make sure that we're still producing more men as well. Uh, no, so we're going to need another house. So let's put, done an let's put down another house as well. I'll probably put that over here because I don't think that there's really anything else that we're going to want to build over here right now. So let's go ahead and do that. And we may even have... We've got one of three over here, so we can put more stuff over here, too. If we want to. And I may. I don't know. I'm thinking. Uh, we have seven, seven iron right now. Oh, that is fantastic. Oh, we can get a war chief, guys. There we go. That's what we wanted. Now. Now. Let's go beat that ass. Yes. Got a couple of warriors over here looking strong and tough. Let's go ahead and make a healer real quick. In fact, I may want two healers right away. There we go. All right, War Chief. Start it off, baby. Beat him up. Got a couple of wolves in there. But this look at this War Chief go, though, guys. That is what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See? Siga? I don't even know what this guy just said. All right, now that we got all that taken care of, we can go ahead and colonize this area real quick. Okay, so other things that we're going to have to think about is crowns. So I already figured out what I want to put over here. We're going to want to put 
a uh, trading place over here. Trading post. There we go. Trading post right over here. We've got nothing else going on over there. So we're going to want a trading post. Let's go ahead and get that done. That's going to sort out our crown area. Oh, boy. We've established contact with the Jhonir. What is this? A Jotun camp. Oh. What the hell is that? Ancient creatures of the Dark Ages. Holy crap. Look at that thing. Um, okay. Ah, uh, I don't think we can beat that right now, guys. We got a wolf's cave over here. Some wolves. And then, what is this over here? More bad guys? I don't even know what that is over there. Wow, this is pretty cool. I've never seen a Jotun before. That's really, really neat. Okay, so we've gotten, we've mined this out entirely. So there's no reason to have this any longer. Let's go ahead and break this down. And now that we've colonized this area, let's see here. Ooh, we do not have a lot of, we do not have a lot of logs. Um, oh, because our firewood is going down big time right now. And we only have one dude doing wood cutting. So let's go grab another guy to do some wood cutting. You can see right here, we're, it's going to be pretty tough. Uh, do I want to improve our tools for five? You know what? I'm going to try it. I've never, well, improve tools. Oh, you can, you can click on one guy and that will improve the tools. All right, I got it. So I don't think we're going to do that right now. Oh, God. We're almost out of wood, boys. We are almost completely out of wood. We are completely out of wood. So I don't know what happens when you run out of wood. I doubt it's good, though. Um, let's see here. We're freezing. We need to produce more wood. Where are we in? We're in February. And our territory is under attack. What do we got going on now, man? Where is it? Where are we at here? Whoa. Whoa. All right. Got a couple of dudes over here. Let me go ahead and get these guys away. Oh, wow. Everyone's pretty beat up. Uh, where's our war chief? War chief. Get up there. Hold on. Get you guys. No. Oh, God. There we go, war chief. Get in there. Get in there. Take those wolves out. Damn it. Just lost some men. I'm going to get another uh, another healer going here. We're going we're gonna to need it. Okay. There we go. So we just barely made it to the new year. Um, the wood issue is just grotesque. Um, it's really, really bad right now. And this building is completely full. We're making six logs from woodcutters. We have enough lore to acquire new knowledge. What can we get? Legendary heroes or conqueror. Defense towers. Military power against defense towers. We, War Chief's attack is 50% higher? Uh, let's do that. There we go. That's pretty cool. Okay, so now our War Chief is just a freaking monster. This guy, this guy should just basically slaughter anything around us. Now, first things first. Woodcutter's Lodge is going to come at the, the next possible area. Oh, God, what is this? The Gates of Helheim. Oh, no. They've, they've found the... Oh, oh, God. That's interesting. Oh, and it look at what sort Valkyries are surrounding it. Very cool. All right. So I'm trying the best that I can, guys. But I feel like I'm not even I'm not even getting us there quick enough. Let's grab another villager and let's make another one of these real fast. And then are we still getting new villagers? Yes, we are. Okay, good. We're still getting new villagers. That's good. What else? What else would I want to do with my steel right now? Um, we could get another war chief if we can get 150 uh, crowns. I could upgrade this. Um, let's see. We have that one person generating some some crowns over there. I think I'm going to make him generate. I'm going to get one more trader going over here. And then we can build a trade route, but we would need to learn that. 100 wood for this. Okay. Let's go straight into, let's go straight into our um, next wood cutting lodge. Let's put it... Um, we'll put it kind of close to the rest of our area. We'll put it over here. And we're going to make, like, two more woodcutters right away. This is good because we're in May. Our scout just died. <laughs> that poor guy. That's the... Them's the breaks, though. I mean, he was trying to... He was trying to look for, uh, for new territories, and he got jacked. So what can you do? I think we've got another wolf coming into our territory. Yep, another wolf coming into our territory. We'll grab the war chief here. See if I can get the war chief down here. I might not be able to get this guy out of here. 
kind of move him toward the war chief. Move this guy toward the war chief. There we go. Yes. And the war chief should very quickly get things done. Excellent. So with the war chief around, everything is pretty damn well protected. And the second this woodcutter's lodge is done, we should be generating quite a bit of wood. Let me see what else I want right now. Uh, carve stone for more lore. That would be good. In fact, trading, let's see, Lena. In fact, I think we're going to do this over here. Again, there's not much else I want to build over here. So let's go and build this lore stone. And now... Let's go ahead and make another woodcutter over here. And you're right here, so why don't you become a woodcutter as well? There we go. Skuldar or whatever. Go ahead and start making me some wood, baby. There we go. Ten wood. Now, the food's going down a little bit. Because remember, we've taken a lot of villagers away from gathering food. And now they're just kind of like doing other things. We can have one more building here. So I could build another hunter's lodge, maybe. Um, I think. Can you have two hunter's lodges? Does it matter? Uh, I, I imagine you can. Let's see. Oh, you can probably only have one hunter's lodge in any given area. So, where else? Was there another area around here that had some deer? I feel like there was. Man, we, got, we are just freaking surrounded by wolves. In fact, we're surrounded by wolves so much, I may want to send my war chief in. And What the hell is that? What is that? Was that just an earthquake or was something cool happening? I don't know what that was. Oh, that may have been, uh... What the hell is this? What happened over here? Everything's on fire. How do you put it out? All right, well, whatever. Let's go ahead and start repairing. Oh my God, it takes so much wood to repair all this. Look at this. Oh man, there goes all of my wood. All the wood that we've gathered. It's all going away, but them's the brakes. What can you do? Okay. So I think that we've repaired everything. I'm pretty sure we have. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure we have. Everything looks good. So the Woodcutter's Lodge still doing its thing. We have healers healing. And I think at this point, let's see here. We can slaughter these over here if we, if we kind of learn this area. Circle of Stones, recruit lore masters, and produce 50% more lore in this area. Ooh, that sounds pretty good too. That actually doesn't sound too bad. Um, what are we low on right now? We have a decent amount of crowns. And this is just a rune stone. So other things that we're going to want is... We can do this runes where we get treasure. We can get a bunch of crowns from that. Um, and we've got runes over here as well. So I think what we'll do is we'll do this circle of stones. We haven't messed with that yet. Let's go ahead and grab our war chief. Grab our war chief. Grab our warriors. I'm gonna grab I'm gonna leave one warrior down here just in case this guy gets attacked by something. Actually, just the war chief should well, there's four wolves there. <laughs> so I may be wrong. It may not be as easy as I'm thinking. Alright. And war chief, get in there. Warrior, help him out. See what we can do. There we go. He's he's tanking that damage. Tanking that damage, baby. Wow, look at look at him go. And I'm going to let this guy take a little bit of the damage. This way I can kind of move around a little bit of the uh, of the pain. So now we can colonize this for 160 food. And I think we will go ahead and do that. Let's see if we still have people being uh, made. Uh, it doesn't look like we do. So we're going to need a new house. So let's find out here where we can put a house. Let's see, we can put a house here. We can put a house up here if we want to. I think I am going to put a house up here. We might as well. We can also slaughter these sheep or... It reduces the need by firewood by 20% during uh, winter. If you have at least one sheep in the area. So that's cool. There's two sheep here. Um, let's go ahead and slaughter one of them. Get us 20 food, uh, or 80 food right off the bat. That's pretty sweet. So let's grab a villager and let's go ahead and recruit a lore master. In fact, let's go grab two villagers and recruit two lore masters. We might as well, right guys? And then one more villager to make sure that this house gets made. Because I don't think that we have anyone making those houses right now. So we've cleared out the wolves over there. They're done. Uh, where's our healers at? Our healers are over here. Make sure. Oh, crap. Under attack. Hold on, hold on. What do we got under attack? What's going on? Oh, right over here. Right over here. Let's get these guys out of here. Men, can you run? Run, run, run. They're not running. 
They're they are just fearlessly attacking. They did not care at all. Oh, oh, I see what, what the problem is over here. We've got this wolf uh, den or whatever the hell it is. So I'm probably going to park my war chief right over here. Colonize this to gain 30. Okay. So this, just colonizing this gets us 30 extra fame. Um, that's pretty cool, to be quite honest. Um, but what I might want to do is, what the hell is this? Oh, portals to Helheim have opened. We need to take defensive action before the Dragar arrive. So let's go grab our war chief. We will put him over here, and they'll, he'll kind of be protecting this area. Now, with the metal that we have, do we need do we need metal to build anything around here? I'm just checking real quick. Or uh, the iron that we have, because I don't know. I don't think that we do. Doesn't look like it. So how about to upgrade this? Plus two warband, and then 10% uh, more life. Let's go ahead and upgrade this. That sounds like a worthwhile upgrade right now. And we can only have one war chief at a time. Okay, so we've upgraded that as far as it'll go. The houses, I mean, we can upgrade, but I don't think that that's really worth it right now. This is probably a worthwhile upgrade. If we can do that. And the healer's hut is probably worthwhile as well. We only have five stones though. So. What are you doing? We are not happy. <laughs> That's it. We're just. We're not happy. We don't exactly know why. We're just not happy. Let's go ahead and build. We can build a brewery to get some happiness. But probably what I'm going to build is another. Oh. Not a trading post. Another training camp. Let's put a training camp up here. And let's go ahead and start grabbing more lore. Sharp axes, more wood cutting, more trading. That would be kind of cool. More lore, more crowns, marketplace, sailors. Uh, what does this do over here? Oh, wow. Wow. You, military units use 70% uh, less runes. Let's do sharp axes. I think that would be pretty cool. So once we get this done, I'm going to go ahead and recruit, like, two more warriors right off the bat. In fact, can I get another warrior over here? Oh, we can. That's going to get us another level of happiness. So that's kind of cool. I'm going to keep this warrior kind of, like, down here just to, like, fight if we need him for something. I really want everyone to be happy. So we're going to need another person over here in this, in this camp the minute it's done. You can see we're at negative one right now. Um, and I'm going to... Man, if I organize this feast, we're going to go down in food really, really quick. So I don't think I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to wait until all these guys are done building. And plus, when we're out of winter, hopefully. What are you doing, healer? Oh, you can't do anything because you're just a healer and you have no one left to heal. Um, what do I want you to do? I think I'll just turn you into a regular Joe. There we go. And let's go make... Let's see here. Let's go make another warrior. That'll get our happiness level. So, I don't know what happens if you have a non-level happiness, but it seems really bad. Colonization reduces the amount of food, okay, or 50% more ore. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay, let's grab that real quick. Oh, and we can get a blessing. Reduces food loss, uh, plus three happiness, and it's just forever. Or we can just get an immediate stone and iron. Ooh. Ooh, which one is better? I'm not worried about the food right now. The happiness would be kind of nice. Uh, because that gets us new new guys. Oh, crap, we're under attack. Where's the attacks coming from? Go click over here. Um, all right, get my war chief. War chief, get in here, get away. Run, 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 run. War chief, go. There we go. Yeah, get in there, war chief. Whoop that ass. There we go. So now we only have one woodcutter, I think. So we're probably going to need another. Uh, let's see over here. Yep, another woodcutter. All right, War Chief, you're going to be... You're going to be sitting... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Here we Oh, crap. Oh, crap. This is bad. This is epically bad. Hold on. Get this warrior out of here. This warrior's getting his ass beat. Run, War Chief. Run. Yeah, we won. We freaking did it, boys. Just barely, too. Holy crap. That was that was just an epic beatdown, though, of just just amazing proportions. Okay. Now, we still didn't pick one of these. Um, Let's see. Metal and stone. Metal and stone. Man, that sounds really good because we would get, like, a bunch of stuff right off the bat from this. 
I'm gonna do it. We'll take George Blessing. That'll get us a bunch of things right off the bat. Um, so, like, we would be able to upgrade this in a little bit without a big deal. Uh, let's see here. Carved Stone. We don't have any lore guys working on this. So we could get that done as well. I don't think I'm going to do that, though. All right, guys. That's going to be it for right now. Been a pretty long episode, too. So this is Northgard. Pretty damn cool. We've done okay, but our opponent here has way, way, way more uh, power than us. I think the issue is we just haven't discovered enough areas. We haven't built up fast enough. We need 6 to 12 areas, and we need a lot more fame. I don't know, man. Can we catch up? We may be able to. We can also organize a bunch more feasts if we can get a bunch more food. Till the next time, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Northgard. Stay foxy. Much love.